What's going on guys, it's Suk and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. Also, if you guys are yet to subscribe, then go ahead and do so, as I will of course be uploading the full and in-depth review of these two smartphones very soon. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So first up, I do want to get into talking about the specifications of both of these smartphones. They were both released on September 22nd, 2017 and also use Apple's 6-core A11 Bionic system on a chip. Also, the iPhone 8 Plus uses 3GB of RAM, whereas the iPhone 8 still uses 2GB like we've seen with the iPhone 7. So the first speed test that I'm going to run between these two smartphones is the boot up test to see which of these two devices boots up the fastest. Now as the internals of these two devices are incredibly similar as well as the software that they're running you can of course expect that the boot up time will be near enough identical and that is of course what happens as both of these devices boot up in around 16 seconds. So now onto the RAM application speed test. Of course, prior to starting this, I did ensure that all background applications were closed. And after opening the settings and camera apps, I went onto another row of applications, opening up social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. And just like expected, both of these smartphones are performing very similarly with the iPhone 8 Plus being slightly faster at loading up certain applications. But either way, there is less than one application difference between both of these smartphones. As the iPhone 8 Plus was first to load up Apple Music, Netflix, YouTube and Uber, whereas the iPhone 8 is now finishing off loading up Uber. So now onto another row of applications opening up eBay, Amazon, Wikipedia and Pro, the iPhone 8 Plus has around a 3 second advantage when compared to the iPhone 8. And with Lapsit Pro, both of these smartphones are going to be exploring the exact same 2 second 4K file that was shot at 30 frames per second. And the iPhone 8 Plus, as you guys can see, was first loading up its final row of gaming applications, starting off with Subway Surfers, then Pokemon Go, Injustice 2, and Super Mario Run. Now you guys can clearly see how the iPhone 8 Plus is starting to pull ahead from the iPhone 8, as it's now around five seconds faster than the iPhone 8 in terms of loading up Injustice 2. And as I'm sure you guys will expect, the iPhone 8 Plus was first in loading up Injustice 2 ahead of the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 Plus is now into loading up the final app of the first lap, Super Mario Run, which is shortly followed up by the iPhone 8. Now, of course, the iPhone 8 Plus manages to finish its first lap with a lap time of 1 minute 35 seconds. And six seconds later, the iPhone 8 finishes its first lap with a lap time of 1 minute and 41 seconds. Now, I want you guys to take a second to look at the iPhone 8 Plus which with its additional gigabyte of RAM over the iPhone 8 has managed to hold all of the applications ready and open in its RAM. Whereas the iPhone 8 struggles to load more simple applications even like Twitter. Now this really does go to show my argument that I've been talking about for a while on social media how the iPhone 8 really does struggle with 2 gigabytes of RAM and how next year's iPhone models are going to be equipped with at least 3 gigabytes of RAM. And this really does make a huge impact as the iPhone 8 Plus finishes is its final lap with a lap time of 40 seconds with a total time taken of around 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Now you guys have already seen how the iPhone 8 had to reload a few other applications but when it comes to the final gaming applications it had to reload all four of these. And that's not to say that the iPhone 8 performs bad when compared to other 2017 flagship devices. But when you compare it to the iPhone 8 Plus, that additional gigabyte of RAM really does go some ways into helping its performance. Now I want you guys to do me a favor, I want you to quickly comment down below in the comments what lap time do you think that the iPhone 8 got for its second lap? Now I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be shocked to find out that the iPhone 8 got a lap time of 1 minute and 38 seconds with a total time taken of 3 minutes and 20. Now if anything this further shows my argument that the iPhone 8 with 2GB of RAM really is not enough especially when you compare it to the iPhone 8 Plus as those 3GB of RAM got it over a minute faster 
than the iPhone 8 which had two. So then guys that has been it for today's video I do hope you did enjoy it if you did enjoy it then be sure to hit that like button and if you are new around here then why not subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload my next video. If you have got any questions with what you've seen in today's video then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section or alternatively you can hit me up on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.